Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. All right, when we left off, we had a uh, we had been on the run a little bit from a new sort of enemy that is very difficult to kill. Uh, I can only really get rid of it with Ring of the Lucy. The Lucy. That I always forget how to pronounce that <laughs> in the beginning of the episode. So, uh, yeah, I've been dealing with that, and it's, uh, difficult to finally get moving but with this enemy in the way. But, oh, speak of the devil! I love surprises. Okay. Okay, and it goes invulnerable and heals itself. For anything. Shut up. It goes vo <laughs> goes invulnerable and heals itself. Uh, right when it starts to teleport away. There we go. And uh, it'll teleport away a lot. Right before you get to kill it. Like that. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. Are you serious? Alrighty, well, that's just not fair. Alright. Well, I'm cut off from... Mm. Sorry about that, my throat decided to <laughs> rebel a little bit. Uh, well, we're cut off from that room, is what I was going to say. And, uh, well... <laughs> What the fuck? Ah, one of those spider things. That was easy enough. And all the power's out, so nothing's going to work. Alright, I guess I just have the manual doors, which there's this one. Manual-ish. You know what? That's still working. Okay. Alrighty. It's prime time for an ambush. Yep. What? Uh. Um. I don't know where that is. I'm just going to go in here. That can't be good. Oh, rare coin. Lovely. Okay. Turn the power back on. Of course. Okay. Ain't much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. Australian Medal of Distinction. Okay. Well. Okay, that was quick. I'll swap to the sword. Whatever enemy that is, that... Oh, there it is. It's that thing. And I can't fight it anyone. Okay. And out of the area I go. Pick up this chrome bit. Okay, at this point, all I can do is just run away from it. Fighting it's not really an option. All right, well. Here we are, I guess. Okay. And, uh, stretch my fingers out a little bit. They were getting a little cramped. There we go. Something here. Mithril shaft. Nice. 
And not the allowed Empire made considerable door. inroads into the science of demons. Well, no shit. After I showed them the way, of course. Why am I not surprised? We'd managed to make demons right here. Make? Um, what? So some of these demons are manufactured. I mean, I know some of them go into the Magitech soldiers, but you're making some of them too? There are a lot of empty uniforms here. I'm starting to get a little concerned as to why there are so many. Ah. Different combinations of active circuits unlock specific sets of doors. To proceed, locate the key card for each panel and activate the right combination. Alrighty. So I Your head can do more than wear a crown. Use it. Oh, shut up. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, I thought it. I, I thought I had this sword equipped. Damn it. There we go. Now I'm good. All right. So I guess I got to go that way to get that thing. Okay. Panel C. I'm assuming that's panel A. Okay, well, this way I go. Never wonder no choice. where demons come from. Well, assuming you're going to tell me. Once upon a time, they were children of nature. Beasts and men. Oh, and you've killed so many. You son of a bitch. Photosensitivity in Magitech's troops. Okay. Plasmodia based biological weapons exhibit an acute, <laughs> acute aversion to light, their cellular structure breaking down within moments of exposure. As the cells are converted to benign molecules, there is no inherent danger even should such a reaction occur. Lightproof armor presents a simple yet effective solution to the problem. Hmm. Considering that they're essentially made by harnessing demons, that's not surprised. Surprising, rather. If only I could talk. That'd be great. And more of these things. Panel B key card already. There's that taken care of. Still more empty uniforms. Still not sure how I should be responding with that. Alrighty. Switch on. Cool. I can get to this room through this door. The infantry units you callously dub MTs. All began as babes in this very facility. Imprinted with serial codes and incubated until they were strong enough to fight. What a pity. Innocent souls fated to suffer in the hands of a foreign king. Don't you make it seem like I'm the bad guy. They're here. not so empty after all, are they? Oh, fuck off with your puns. Fuck off with your puns, you son of a... You are already 
going through massively unethical steps, I'm assuming, to make these things and to be just absolutely fucking terrible in the process and you're acting like it's my fault. Okay. Get the hell off of me. Okay. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. I'll admit. That got me a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, I got panel C. So there's that. The circuit breaker has tripped due to overload. At least one circuit panel must be remain switch off. Damn it. Okay, well then how do I turn these back on is the question. Can I operate this one? No. Okay. Is there a way to reset the system? Because now I don't have a way out. And my headset is acting up something fierce. Okay. Well, I have it turned off now. Is there no way to reset it? At all? Am I fucked? It seems like I'm fucked. Okay. Well, um... They probably should have mentioned, Oh, is this thing can overload and fuck you out of ability to progress? Uh, that's stupid. Oh, come on. Give me the button. <sighs> okay. Well. I can operate two at a time, but that's it. All right, I need to fucking figure out what's wrong with my headset. Give me a second. Alright, here's hoping that it continues to work in a better way than it was a little bit ago. West Gralia Quarantine Report. Including cases around the village, the number of missing now stands at 1,657. Early reports from the MRF attribute the disappearance to an infectious disease, and investigations continue as regard a potential connection to the demon outbreak. At the time of writing, the quarantining of West Gralia is complete, and other sections remain infection-free. Vanishing sickness. Huh. And that one demon seems to like to vanish a lot. Mass disappearance report. Nine days on from the mysterious disappearances and nary a lead. Beggars belief that 812 people, an entire village, could simply vanish into thin air. In more tangible developments, of the demons that emerged in West Gralia at the same juncture, 60% are confirmed escaped from military facilities. Details of the remaining 40%, however, remain inconclusive. 
mysterious disappearances. Okay. This is starting to get weird. Alright, I guess we're just gonna fucking never mind. There we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Well, that worked out. Alright. Time to head out this way. Oh, well done, my boy. Oh, shut up. <laughs> The most fascinating tidbit about your dear Prompto. What? Turns out he's not empty either. He's got quite the skeleton in his closet. <laughs> what are you talking about? Following their outbreak in the north and west, demons have swept through the MRF, causing extensive damage to equipment. Control was subsequently lost over unprogrammed MTs, and strategies are being deliberated on the collection of rogue units. Meanwhile, 125 infected patients undergoing testing at the facility have vanished in a manner reminiscent of the first disappearances. All so the it patients happened again. have been disappeared? That makes no sense. Well, it does if that demon that we've been fighting is involved in some way, shape, or form. North Gralia Quarantine Report. Hmm. This is, uh, a little concerning now, ain't it? The infection has since manifested in five adjacent sectors and threatens to reach epidemic proportions. Its spread is invariably accompanied by the appearance of demons, and the likelihood cannot be ignored that the pathogens are demon-born. Quarantine has been expanded to encompass all areas in which the creatures are found. Epidemic proportions? That can't be good. It is not, presumably. Ding dong! Okay. Ah, uh, don't need really anything here. Do need to sell some crap. Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. This is more or less the late game. I don't really need Gil as much at this juncture. Oh, please. Oh, thank God. I was hoping it wasn't anything that would not have been there we go. Okay, let me try that again. I was hoping that it wouldn't be a demon. Specifically the demon that I couldn't fight in the first place. There we go. Alright, pick this up. If you'll let me. Okay, magic tech booster. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm going to save here, just in case I don't have a chance to save later. Alrighty, moving on. Uh, we got a little diversion over here. Might as well see where this will lead us. Lead us. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, well, that was weird. Alrighty. Well... It missed me, so that was nice. Made it a little easier to take it out. And... Okay. Okay. Well, that's the thing. Ooh! 
That still works even when I'm sapping health. That's kind of nice. So I was actively holding on to the X button at that point when that dodge came out. That was pretty cool. Okay. Alright, jump scares aplenty. Yeah, at least the possibility of such. 28th. 6. More than half the keep's inhabitants are now demons. There's no hope of neutralizing them. Not with control lost over the MTs. Outside, the city swarms with yet more demons. Former citizens. There's no escape. The demons I fought to get here were former Grawlian citizens? They lost control and now all of them are demons? unnecessary level five Security clearance raised to level five oh well, here's hoping that's Access the last to I need to do five. zones authorized 16th the infected aren't disappearing they're turning into demons that we failed to see this defies belief yet dwelling on it avails us not in the face of the demon threat Though of human origin, they're unlike the specimens bred for MTs. They cannot be controlled. Ooh, boy. Oh, no. I think I just came from this way, so... Gonna have to go this way. Oh, fuck off! Fuck off. Oh, okay. I was at least somewhat prepared for that. Okay, I just saw you move. I ain't falling for that. I might as well get it over with. Come on, you asshole. No? How about you? Yep, I know. Well, dealt with you anyway. And you probably will on my way back. No? Huh. Nothing whatsoever, huh? What about this guy? No. Way back? No? Okay. The hell is this place? Uh, not good. Inside. Not sure what that is, but I got a hunch it's bad. Don't like it one bit. Considering everything that we've read, I'm assuming all of this is super duper bad. I'm assuming all of this is some evil, super duper doomsday shenanigans. Um. Something here. Which means it's locked. And if there's a lock, there's a key. I have. No idea what to think. That this just floating in the air, and this I can just walk through. Um. Uh. <laughs> I think the game bugged a little bit. Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, uh huh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. 
Things are looking up. How will this story end, I wonder? Intruder alert. Mobilizing dormant Magitek infantry. Oh! Wait. Is that what's waiting inside? Oh, even more of them. Well, oh, your friends. You don't think oh, they ran off without you? Uh, fuck off. Well, uh, that was a glitch. You're right. I was right on that much. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Cool. Alright. There we go. There's that. You still haven't found Gladio? Shut up. Only Are a matter of time before Ignis bumbles into a trap. You shut the fuck up. You must feel very much alone right now. I am very much going to have fun killing you. Is this... I have to pause for a second. Because I just recognized the robes and the chair. Well, throne. This is where the Emperor was sitting. A couple cutscenes ago. The feeling I'm getting now is that the entirety of the citizenry has turned into demons. That's, uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, actively very bad, actually. Um. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, of course I can't grab that. Right. And I can't get to that. Okay. Well, I'll go the other way. I'll just run it a bit. There we are. And I can operate this, presumably. Level six. Security clearance raised to level six. All right. Access to level six zone is authorized. Okay. Well, fuck off. Your buddies have bright eyes ahead of them. Don't take it personally if they choose their own over yours. Fuck you. Okay. Well, I dealt with them. Okay. Let's get some health out of you. There we go. What the shit? No time, no time. Okay. All right. I don't want to deal with you. Not so. Ooh, and I don't have to now. Without your borrowed toys, are you? I'm sorry, borrowed toys. You want to try and run that by me again? Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. I don't know what he meant by borrowed toys. Assuming he's meaning the uh, family ability that Noctis is born with. More or less. You really are helpless without your friends babysitting you. Shut the fuck up, Arden. 
<laughs> the fact that people like him is just aggravating to me now. Like, as a villain, sure, I can understand that. But I'm not liking him as a person right now. I am very angry with him in multiple aspects. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because I finally hit a point that I can save. And, whoo, boys. Ooh, kiddos. Oh, my children. This is... This is some upsetting developments. Uh, the demons we've been fighting all this time to get here. Including the Magitek troopers themselves are uh, are human in origin made here by Arden and his buddies in the Empire and then they lost control and now most of the Empire citizenry, if not all are now demons question remains do we have to destroy them now or can we turn them back is there an option to we'll just have to wait and see anyway thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and uh, seeing some crazy shit and learning some more crazy shit in this fortress that is going to woo, go make the game a little more interesting in the uh, morality aspect for you.